Who right now is, in your guys' opinions, the the top three threats to the one seed in the NFC? Like, if I had, you had to place your money on the one seed right now, who De- are you thinking? Detroit. Detroit? Mm-hmm. Who, who would you put after that? I don't want to say Minnesota. It's fine. No, no, you don't. You don't have to say Minnesota. I'm, I'm not fishing for the the Vikings. No, I, but I feel like I, I mean, who else would it be? Uh, uh, I can't say Washington. I'd probably say Detroit, uh, Minnesota, number two, and then I guess San Francisco. Man, San Fran at two and three. I I don't I don't think that the 49ers belong on that list right now. Dude, who would you put as a third team over to get the one? The Wa- Eagles, Washington, the Eagles. I, I I would probably put the Eagles there. I I'd be thinking. What are the Eagles? Three and two. Yeah, they are three. They're two three, and two. They're two they and two. They want to buy. Yeah, they had to buy this week. 49ers schedule though. I, I'm pretty sure it starts to heat up a little bit for San. I might even put Green Bay in there over. No, over. The, the only reason the 49ers are even being talked about, like they have a good chance to make the playoffs, is because of the division they're in. Yeah, I'm I'm out, I'm out on. Listen to the schedule for San Francisco right now. Yeah, I mean, this is this is kind of nuts. At Seattle this Thursday, short week. They'll beat Seattle. Yeah, they'll be they own Seattle. They host the Chiefs, they host the Cowboys, they're at the Bucks, host Seattle, at Green Bay, at Buffalo. Those I'm are not, yeah, seven that's, games. That's, that's difficult, but who I don't see a third I team mean, who going to Seattle this week is tough. You're going to Seattle with them absolutely furious after that Giants loss. The 49ers I mean, aren't healthy yet. I'm just saying that's not a free I mean, they win. Still got Detroit. No, it's not a free win. They still got Detroit. They go to Arizona. I mean, they got Chicago, which they should they should roll Chicago at home. But the Rams again, like it is if you you can, I mean, look five losses and yeah, you're, I, you're you're eight on the season. I'm this not, is a really tough schedule. I'm not comfortable putting Philly above them as a one seed. Like who are or I just the Eagles have a better record. Well, yeah, I mean, but the record's so close. I'm just I'm just projecting on what I think is going to happen here and. Like San Francisco should should be four and one. Like they really should be four and one. They should have beat the Cardinals. They should have beat the Rams. And from a talent standpoint, it's that the, it's the, they're a top five team in the NFC. Like yeah. I, I think they're better than Philadelphia. Yeah, talent wise. <laughs> well, they need McCaffrey. Back. I, I really do think they need McCaffrey back. But without McCaffrey right now, and with the schedule they have, is it? It's not crazy to think that it's, they can lose a bunch of those games. And it's so hard. They're three and a half games behind the Vikings. Like, that's a huge hole to be in five weeks in. Yeah, I don't have him over Minnesota. I, I said it's Detroit, Minnesota. Yeah. And then if I had yeah. to pick a third, I'd probably go San Francisco. I, I just don't know. I mean, at three. least the Eagles, the Eagles are, what, two games behind the Vikings because they were on that bye? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'd I, rather I, be there than three and a half games behind. I think at this point, though, a game and a half between those two teams doesn't make a huge difference. I, I actually might put. So I think I'd have the. The Lions, then the Vikings, and then I, I'm kind of tempted to put Tampa Bay or Atlanta. Uh, I know that that's kind of out. Of, it's a little weird when you have teams like the Eagles, then 49ers that people generally believe in a lot more. But just when you look at the again, I think the schedule is important, um, and I don't think San Francisco. I'd actually go so far to say I, I the 49ers will not win the one seed. Like I'm very confident they will not be the one seed this is, year. Is there any love for the Commanders here? Uh, that's, that's what I was debating. I don't, I think They've they come back to earth a little bit. such an easy schedule for the rest of the season. You got in front of you? Yeah. It's besides they go to Baltimore next week, which is tough. <laughs> yeah. So he's then like, they, they got, got an easy schedule <laughs> yeah. at the Ravens. No, no, but then, but then here's the rest of the schedule at home, Panthers and bears, then at the giants host, the Steelers at Philadelphia is tough. Host the Cowboys is tough. Host the Titans at new Orleans, Eagles, Falcons, Cowboys. I mean, the thing about the the commanders is like, I don't I don't like that whole, uh, and I do it too. It's like, oh, uh, I don't want to jump the gun on this team yet. But I mean, like, why? Because they're not supposed to be good. That, that, like, that's, that's a great point. Like, like, that's a great point. Like, if a team is looking good, they 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 look like a top five team in the league the last three. Their weeks. quarterbacks playing. I'm, Daniels is an MVP level yep. candidate right now. Yeah, on FanDuel right now, they've got the Commanders fifth best odds to be the NFC one seed. Yeah. What are, who are the top five at the moment? Uh, Minnesota, Detroit, Philadelphia, Atlanta, the Commanders. Yeah, I was going to put Atlanta. I was looking. The Bucks schedule is they. I forgot they had that one seed schedule. So they they have the Chiefs. They have um, I believe it was also the 49ers later in the year. Um, yeah, the, the Fat 49ers game. I mean, that's tough for both So teams. here's just Dallas. to put the remaining schedules for those in question. Here's why, like, the first place schedule matters so much is it's just 
Look at Atlanta and Tampa Bay. Yeah. Look at those two schedules right now. And you'll, yeah, you'll see why tough. the first place schedule matters. I'm going to go Detroit. You know what? I'm, why, why? I'm a Viking fan. What am yeah, I doing here? Are you kidding here? me? I'm going with the Vikings one, Detroit two, and three Atlanta. Um, and I don't think it's here's, crazy to put the Vikings there. Here's the, the difference in remaining schedules, right? Common yes. opponents, excluding those, excluding their games against each other. Tampa Bay, here are those four other games. Chiefs, 49ers, Ravens, Saints. Atlanta, here are their four games. Broncos, Seahawks, Vikings, Commanders. I know which of those schedules I'm taking. Whoever doesn't, whoever avoids you know, the Broncos, whoever it's avoids funny, the Broncos. It's funny that the Atlanta schedule there, though, the last two, the Vikings. It's and a Commanders, lot harder than you thought it would be. It's harder than you thought, but you still, you still take that schedule as who, compared to Tampa. Who avoids the Broncos there? The Falcons, Tampa Bay. Oh, Dude, Tampa. I'm telling you, if I had, okay. if I had the Broncos in a playoff game right now, who'd we say they, they're the they're the six seed at the moment? Right? Is that what we said? Yeah. Let's say they stick there. They go to Houston. Yeah, Houston is is jumping up and down. They're thrilled. Do you know what I think I have Denver in the AFC Championship game? <laughs> That's this segment thing. is chaos. I'm that We've sold completely on lost the plot here. I think their defense is, is seriously legit. Ziggy, um, so you had three of the, of the seven right here. You had the 49ers in first, the Eagles in second, Detroit third, Atlanta fourth. Then you had the Cowboys, Packers, and Cardinals. What, where are you feeling? Uh, how are you feeling on Arizona? That was your big pick. That was the bold pick. Everyone thought it was crazy. Um, it looks terrible yeah. until this week uh, where they beat the 49ers. Now, again, you can say that was a fluky victory, and that's certainly part of it. But they won the game. At this point, I mean, their odds aren't great. I'd give them probably a one in three chance of making the playoffs. But the NFC West is a lot weaker, I think, than a lot of people thought it would be. And they already got the single hardest game going to San Francisco out of the way, and they won that. Mm -hmm. I don't think their chances are great. But at two and three here, with how much chaos there is in the NFC, if Kyler can keep playing good, the defense can lock in a little bit. I don't feel t I don't feel nearly as bad about that as the Titans prediction. Oh no no the Cardinals uh, Kyler Murray they're like, Kyler Murray the, the they're Titans live. Do not. yeah and you saw they just won in San Francisco too yeah no Arizona well, they they've been so topsy turvy though where they, I mean getting blown out one week and then impressive the next like it's yeah they're, they're their game against team. the Packers this week is huge that's a really fun game and then I, it's huge for both teams it's it's a great opportunity for both of them to. Get a little separation there in that uh, that battle for a wild card spot at the moment. Um, although the division's in play for for everyone still. Uh, one team, real quick, before I talk about mine, I just want to ask you guys: we we haven't given any love at all, probably for good reason, but we haven't really talked about the Giants at all. And the Giants has just got a really impressive win in Seattle. Uh, I mean, I, I remember yesterday, Jack, you were like, "I don't want to talk about this at all." Um, when we brought up the Giants for a second, but winning in Seattle, I think a lot of people thought that that was a good survivor pick. The Seahawks. Uh, the Giants didn't have Malik Neighbors. Like, the Giants are sitting here at two and three. I don't think they're a playoff threat. I really don't. But I have to acknowledge, like they have played okay football. I mean, they they could have beat the Commanders. They very easily could beat the Commanders. The Cowboys game came to, came down to uh, you know a couple field goals here or there. Like I, I really I've been impressed with the Giants compared to uh, what people expected from them, and especially after week after the Vikings game, I thought they were the worst team in football. And now oh, they yeah. like they've rebounded nicely over the past few weeks. No, I mean if if, if uh, I don't think they're a playoff team either, but they're they're doing better than I I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be zero and five, especially after week one. I mean, I just thought that there was no ray of hope or ray of sunshine at all. Uh, what I think is, is there'll be a team who goes over their win total, mm -hmm. maybe it goes seven and ten, uh, and exceeds expectations, but. They won't be yeah. in the playoffs. Here's the hope for the Giants, I think. Cam Ward looked great against the Cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Few games, there's still a chance a good quarterback falls to them in the draft. Oh, man. The fact you... that Cal blew that. <laughs> oh, Miami's the, the no, that, most That's the most Cal team. thing ever. I don't know. I, I follow Cal football very closely. I'm from California. A lot of my friends went there. They just, they knew, right? It's like when the Vikings get a 30-point lead, Paul, and it just hits you like <laughs> you just they're going to find a new way to blow this. The uh, yeah, when they were being Green Bay twenty eight, was it twenty eight nothing or twenty? Yeah, five? yeah, it was twenty eight nothing, and I was like, this feels too. I mean, seventeen nothing against the Jets too. I I've been really happy that the Vikings have sort of sort of led us down this road to like they're easing us into the misery this year. 
Like we were blowing people out at the beginning. Now we're kind of blowing them out, but then we let them back into it. By the end of the year, we'll just be getting blown out by someone. But it's nice that we have this more of a you know slow fade. In just live in the moment. Live in the moment. Yeah, five and zero, oh, five and zero oh on a bye week, going into a game against Detroit. It's crazy. The Vikings have an opportunity to have a a multi game lead on the one seed if they beat Detroit. I mean, at this point, you teams. have to say the Vikings are the one seed favorite, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's unfortunate for them though that the the Lions in their division. I'd say it's them, the or, them or Detroit. Yeah. I'd say it's one of those two. It's too yeah, bad. So I'm, I'm giving it to the team that's in the league. That's currently in the league. Yeah, yeah fair oh, that's fair.